Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Welcome to Wareham. Today we are going to be building a financial district with the new uh, financial district's DLC. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So like I said, we are in Wareham, one of my uh, cities that I've built over, I mean, it was a couple years ago that I built it, but um, we're going to use it for this but anyway what I want to do is I want to come in here and uh, we're going to replace this area in here which is currently the Wareham theme we're going to replace it with the financial uh, DLC so we are going to take out this part we have to be careful though because I want to keep it along I'll keep the other one along right there but all of this here along this road is going to be the new district style. Which is going to be a bit of a change to our city. But with this district, or with this DLC, you get a whole bunch of cool stuff. You get to add like a mini game to your, uh, to your city in the stock market. So that is pretty cool. And then you also get to just have a whole bunch of different office buildings which is always a plus to have new buildings involved okay so we have this district in place now and I'm going to rename it financial district then we're going to go to not the district style here but we're going to come down here to the zoning and we want to or the district here and we're going to go to office specializations and change it to financial office buildings. So now all of the office zoning, which is a lot of that in there, is going to respawn into other stuff. We'll let it do that real quick. Okay, now that this is mostly in place, you can see a lot of the buildings that have spawned are a very different style than what you have in the rest of the city. And that really makes it cool. And really adds a nice little flavor to your districts. Now, the next thing I want to do is we are going to add a stock market. And so that is a unique building over here. You go to banks here, or financial buildings. You can go in here and build a stock exchange. And I want to put it on one of these roads. I think maybe even down here. Yeah, because we've got the tram right there. We're not too far from the tram hub. We'll put it right over here. But first, auto save, coffee time. Okay, so we are going to come in here and take this road out. And then we're going to put our stock exchange in here. Oh, it doesn't fit there because of the... Okay, well, that doesn't work. We'll find a different spot. Let's put this road back in so they don't get too mad. We can put it over here instead. So it can fit right here. I'm going to take this road out put it right there and that's going to be centered relatively well on this road yeah I like that there so anybody coming off of the uh, train station here out of this tram or uh, transport hub can walk right down here to the stock market so once you have your stock exchange you can go into manage investments and the way you want to level up is by having some gains. So what you could do is you could go into ones that have gone down and then you could uh, buy when they are down and you want to sell when they're up, obviously. But let's go ahead and we'll grab this one. Jelly, Traffic Jelly Logistics. So we'll buy 1.8 million shares in here. Or 1.8 million monies worth. And we'll see what happens with that. We own the maximum number of shares of that. And that Jelly Logistics is related to delivering things. And so far we've lost money on it. But hopefully we will gain money on it. Okay, so now we are at a point we've got a gain of 87 monies. 87,000 monies. We can sell those. And now when we look at our... Uh, stock market we should see that we have reached level two but first we have an auto save so now we can come in here and click on our start stock market 
and we can upgrade now we have the games we can spend the money to upgrade the building so now we've reached level two so we get a cow statue and a, a panda statue and a small bank the small bank is the significant part of this and the building got bigger too so that is important to note as well now if we go into our uh, bank stuff we now have a service here we can add a bank building and uh, this is a small one so i'm going to come out to over in here well uh, this one it would not be very accessible for stuff out there we have bad death care issue let's take care of that first okay now i can assure you that the death care thing is just fine it'll be it'll be okay we're going to put a bank over here so we've got a small bank and that is going to send a uh, little it sends cash vans out here's one here there it goes cash transportation van and that is going to drive around and collect cash from commercial buildings and return to the bank and then that can help reduce crime in your um, little commercial areas and so that adds another city service that can help you and there are different variations of that that come with the higher level of stock exchange you can have a large bank and you can have a skyscraper bank they're just bigger they have more cash fans that can go out now the other thing we can do is we can come in here and like i said we have the bronze cow and the bronze panda so we're going to find a spot to put those i'm wondering if they would work over in here yeah they would put one there put the other one there so they are kind of facing each other a little bit might even be better if we get them next to each other let's see oh they won't fit next to each other in vanilla yeah like if you have move it you can get them in place a little bit better but they just add a nice little thing to your city as well so now let's get to level three we want to get more games here and i will do that off camera okay and i just made a really good investment in greasy gasoline so now we have reached another point also you get a tax bonus as that goes up as you upgrade these so we're going to upgrade Our stock exchange has changed design again we get a new plaza here and a large bank is available as well so let's get building those as soon as we get on the other side of this auto save okay so we are going to come in and first of all look at the upgraded building it is much bigger and these buildings in the financial district have gotten to level three so we also have quite a bit of height in here too this is a unique building over here by the way but uh, what we are going to do is we're going to get our plaza elevated plaza in here and that does not fit in that spot but this is one that would fit over in this spot so that gives us again another little plaza we took out a couple buildings to do it but it was worthwhile so now we also get that medium bank or large bank here we're going to put that in a different commercial district we'll put it over in here and i think i mean we could put it there i don't think i want it there i think i want it over here put it right there right on the corner and that will bring 15 different things there and you can change there's variations to this building too so you can go in and you can change how each one looks a little bit which is quite nice as well so now we have a large bank in here that is helping to provide even more service in there and of course we are we come back to our stock market which where did i put that here it is and now that the building changes it gets a little confusing but yeah we get a little boost to our bonus there our tax bonus and now we need another two hundred thousand in investment gains to get to the next level so let's do that and again we made a good investment in greasy gasoline we can come in here and 
upgrade here and now we are level four which at level four we didn't really get anything for that but uh, because the banks to get the skyscraper we need although you know it says at level four we are at level four so i'm not quite sure why it does not count that but maybe we just let's keep going we'll get to level five i don't think there's any other stuff to unlock oh there's again level four wonder why it's not unlocking for us here but let's go ahead and we'll get up higher okay and we are ready for another upgrade upgrade here we've reached level five so we've unlocked some things and we can come in we can't change the look of the uh, that at all but we can come in and interestingly we still did not unlock the level four here so that is uh unfortunate but we can build the international trade building which is a nice tall building that can add a little bit more variety to your city we're going to put that over i'd like to put it in here but it is too big for that spot and if we put it in here, it's going to take away from... I think right in here is going to have... Although, it, you know what? It just it won't fit because our grid is too big there. We're going to have to take out a road. And that has a tram on it, so we don't want to take out the tram road. What we could do is we could take out the road right behind. Yeah, we're going to take this out. And then we will move that plaza. Put that across the street. And then we'll put this over in here. And then we need a new pedestrian path because we just took that out over here. There we are. So that would work. If I wasn't playing vanilla, I'd put another one over here. But for now, this works fine and we get to see that building another nice skyscraper in there and that is that so we have built a financial district i hope you liked this i hope it found you found it useful thanks for watching on the screen will be a link to the video where i go through all of the maps in this dlc uh, it might not be out yet but when it is it will be on the screen so click on that and thanks for watching i will catch you next time take care